The Havana airport worker who risked his life for freedom by stowing away in the luggage compartment of a flight heading to Miami is being allowed to stay. And now we're hearing from him. Local Tesla Hatzel Vela is live with more on this. Hatzel. Louis, quite the reunion for the man who about a month ago landed at this very same airport hidden in the belly of a plane. A dark spot where he could barely breathe, scared to death. That's how he describes his 45-minute odyssey in the belly of a plane. <laughs> it's what you would expect, emotional moments from the Cuban stowaway, when for the first time he greets his cousin, who just landed from Atlanta, to see him. <laughs> a tearful embrace, several months in the making. It was back on August 16th. When Yunier Garcia, a Havana airport worker, snuck into the belly of a plane, Swift Air Flight 704, which took off from Havana and landed here at Miami International Airport. One of the ramp workers found him when he was unloading luggage. Garcia didn't have much to say, only that he's still trying to process all of this. Earlier today, our cameras there when Garcia leaves the Chrome Detention Center, where he had been held for about a month. It was just Tuesday, less than 24 hours ago, that an immigration judge granted him asylum. Garcia says he's very thankful to this community and to God. We won because of his testimony. You know, his testimony was so riveting. It was description of his life in Cuba and the harsh reality, they say, which is now a thing of the past. Oh my God, I'm feliz happy de la vida, feliz. And his family overjoyed, happy, he's finally free. A brand new life for a man who took a chance, who risked his life to live in America. <laughs> Muy happy, Spanglish. <laughs> if you missed that, he said, Muy happy, a mix of English and Spanish. Uh, by the way, the American government still has a chance to appeal the judge's decision. They can do so in the next 30 days. For now, reporting live at Miami International Airport, I'm Hatsovella. Local tennis.